Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how you can add custom fields into your blogging website, especially if you have plugins like ACF, Metabox or Pods. So without further ado, let's get started because this is going to be a long ride. So first of all, from our WordPress dashboard, we're going to go to the Getting Started section of PostX and enable the Dynamic Content Add-on. From this point onwards, we can successfully add custom fields to our blogging site. You can add custom fields to post X's, post grid, post list, post slider, image block, heading block, and even the button blocks. Support for other post X blocks will be coming up very, very soon. So stay connected to our social media platform to stay up to date. So let's add some custom fields to our blogging site. So this is a movie blogging site that I created using PostX's starter site. I literally had to click a single button and the whole page was ready. Let's say I want to add custom fields to this particular block. So I'm going to go back to the back end of my website, go to the site editor, front page, edit. So this is the front page where I'm going to add custom fields to this particular block. Right now, I'm just going to select the block and to enable custom field for this particular block, we have to enable dynamic content. So let's enable that. Now you can see add custom field button has been added to this particular block. Click on add custom fields. Now we get to select the source, the data source. You can have a current post, post type and so on. Let's start with current post. So the data will be sourced from this particular block itself. Let's add date, post date. Let's go to advance, select an icon and we can have a calendar. Yeah, there it is. And if you want, you can even add the link. You can select the link source. But I'm, I don't want any link to the date, so I'm just going to hit apply. And you can see the date has been added. We can add more custom fields to this row itself. We just have to click on the little icon. And another field has been created. Let's get the source from current uh, post itself. Source. Let's keep the author name. So I'm going to select author name just like what I did with the date. I'm going to select an icon. This seems fine. No, this is better. And I'm going to hit apply. So you can see this field over here is created, but I want to add an excerpt. So I'm going to add another field. Let's click on the custom field right over here. Click on setting, print post, excerpt. Now we can also set the max length as well. You can even you can even set the before, after, and the fallback text, and set the max length of the text. I'm gonna just keep it at 45 because we don't want it too long. I'm gonna hit apply, and there it is. And you can have as many custom fields as you want. You can even further customize the color, the typography. You can have a different typography if you want to. Spacing, even the hover color and so on. Let's just keep it as it is. So this is a single meta field. And you can select, you can customize the whole meta group as well. Just click on the group, not just the field. Or if you want, you can just click on this icon right over here. It will take you to the parent group setting. And from here, you can customize it further. Let's keep it centered. And you can adjust the spacing, make it inline or not inline. It's all up to you. You can even add new fields right from over here. And you can even delete the whole field. So up until now, we saw how we could get the data from the current post itself. But with dynamic content feature of PostX, you can get data from few other sources. For example, I'm going to add a custom field, another custom field actually, 
and I'm gonna click on the settings icon and in data source I'm gonna select post type not current post post type then you can select from where you want to get these data you can select post pages or even other custom fields that you created using um, a third-party custom field plugin like ACF but we'll talk about that later in the video for right now I'm gonna select pages and I'm gonna select front-end submission front-end submission is a feature of PostX that allows guest writer to submit their post directly and you don't have to share your credentials to the guest writer you to learn more about front-end submission you can check out our YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. Back to our custom fields. I'm gonna select source and the content source is gonna be the post excerpt. And I even want to add a link. Select post permalink as a link. Now let's hit apply. Then let's customize this a bit. Make it red so it catches the eye right for us now let's make it bigger change the typography 16 i think this should do it yeah now let's see how this looks in the front end so here it is in the front end i'm gonna click on this and since I added a link to it, it's going to take me to the front end submission page. Now let's talk about the most requested and in demand feature of dynamic content. It's integration with third party plugins for custom fields like ACF, Metabox, Pods. Right now, these are the three plugins that we support, but in the future, there will be support for more plugins. As you can see, I have used ACF to create few field groups and even post types so these are the post type that i created and within them i have two posts so i want to display this particular field within my post to do so i'm going to go back to the front end i'm going to add another custom field click on the newly created custom field and click on the clock icon and from data source, I'm going to select post type. And this is going to be my post type, which I created using ACF. And within that, I'm going to select the one that I want, recruiting new Spider-Man. And for content source, it's going to be the post title. You can keep it whatever you want. I'm going to keep post title. I want to add a before text let's keep it urgent don't want any after text or fallback text not even an icon so i'm gonna hit apply but i'm not satisfied with this so i'm gonna customize it even further i'm gonna click on the meta group style and let's change the color to blue and I'm gonna even change the before text color to blue and the hover color will be red because you know spider-man and we can even change the typography I'm gonna increase the font size for both before text and there it is recruiting new spider-man now let's add a link to this meta field i'm going to click on the little icon enable link and from link source i'm going to select post permalink you can even add any other link that you want but i'm going to keep it to this i'm going to hit apply now let's see how it looks in the front end so this is the front end and when I click on this link, it's going to take me right to this post type page. And I've used the button blocks of post X to create two buttons. So it looks a bit more fancier. And if you don't even want to add a custom field source from a third party plugin, you can have more sources. You can 
select archive description, archive title, site tagline, site title. Let's keep it site tagline. When you do this, I get post access based editor, which is my site title for this local host and so on. So there are a few other amazing things that you can do with the dynamic content feature of post -X. For example, you can add links to the button, which will redirect them to another custom post type that you created with ACF. To do so, you'll just have to click on the button and click on the dynamic content icon and you can link the source. Similarly, you can make your post text images more dynamic. Select the post text image. Let's insert a image over here. Let's say for I like Mad Max. So you can select Mad Max. And when you click on the image from the block setting, you can see the link section added. You can put a button in there, but I'm just going to make the whole image as a link. And from here, I'm going to click on this settings icon. Now I'm, we can select source. We can redirect them to a different post that we like, which is maybe related to the image. So I'm going to then select the post. So I'm going to link it. I'm going to click on the post permalink so it will be taken to this post right over here so when we click apply let's see how it looks in the front end refresh the page as you can see that i have been taken to the link that i assigned to it but that's not it you can even make your headings more dynamic for example, I've chosen this heading block and I'm going to make it more dynamic. I'm going to select the source as current post. And let's say I want to select the post title. I don't want to enable link to it. I'm just going to click apply. The heading will be automatically brought over here now. The interesting thing is if you make changes to the heading click on the save button, the changes will be applied everywhere. Even though there was no, we didn't make any changes over here and we made changes to this parent heading, it's going to change throughout your website. If you link your heading to one particular heading, every time you change the parent heading, it's going to change throughout your website. So you do, if you have some things that keep changing on a peri periodic, if you have a heading that you want to keep changing throughout your website every now and then, this is the best way to do it. Isn't that amazing? And so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any more questions or suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.